John John Rivero, Tagu Canada Ho, Ako Ay Filipino Canadian. Um, my parents are both from the Philippines, but I was born and raised in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. And I'm here with my, uh, my team that we're called the Bali Fine Project. There's a new generation of Balik Mayans all over the world that are incorporating their traditional culture and mixing it with whatever talents they have into the modern, modern day culture. Now, I'm sure some people have heard of this quote, you give a man a fish and you feed them for one day. Versus you teach a man a fish and they are fed for life, right? They're good for life. Trying to go with this, we need to teach families, uh, this is what I try and, and, and stand for, teach families how to fish, right? How to do the therapy. How can they implement their program, right? Versus doing, depending on the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so that we can help our children learn to become independent, um, to become more safe in the community, and to be part of the community. So the ideas and the philosophies presented in the last couple of days were about empowering the families so they can continue on because therapy is only a minute portion of a child's life or it should unless you have endless resources. That it's, it's being um, recognized as a service delivery system and academic study. So the kind of the philosophy or the approach that I've taken is that Adaptive physical activity bridges the gap between therapy and rehabilitation and education. So as John John was talking about before, about having creating social networks or collaborating with, with other professionals to help improve your child's potential, um, adaptive physical activity is a new area and a new innovative way to help assist in developing your child to their full potential. So the way the model works is that we lie in between school and therapy and APA can be considered as a community-based program where when you're not in school, when your child's not in school, where do they go? Besides home, they go to therapy and in there we can create that bridge where we all work together towards common goals and that's to improve your child. So that was just that's just one example. Um, so what are the things that you could observe in this PE class? Is that there could be a multitude of abilities and disabilities that you have to adapt to. So what I refer to about adapting instruction um, and games and rules or equipment and such things are some of the things that my job as a consultant uh, is to do to teach teachers or to teach uh, individuals or coaches or whatever um, is to help them find ways to include the individual with their disability. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for, uh, for, for honoring us with your time and, and your sharing your life experiences. And the important thing to remember is they are just that. They're just a special need. And when you think about our lives compared to our children's lives, we are no different. We all need to take care of ourselves. We all need to be able to communicate. And we all need to be able to use our bodies in a functional way. So when you think about our children, don't think so much about how am I going to do this? How I, they're going to learn it. They will learn it. They, are, they, are, they will thrive. 
All we need to do is put in the time to be patient. We wait. Wait. Right? Something that I, I am truly, um, truly honored to be here, not only because uh, this is where I'm, where I'm from, like where my parents are from, the Philippines, but I've grown to learn the Filipino way. And it is unconditional love of your children. Unconditional love of your fellow people. Channel your value system, right? And feed it to your children in a way that's going to teach a man a fish versus feed a man for a day. Give a man a fish. So thinking about the top, the top uh, ideas of the last three days, perhaps I'd like you to reflect. Just take two minutes right now. Just close your eyes, reflect on what were the things that maybe challenged your value system? Because, you know, we all think differently. We all share different things. Think about the things that went along in the same line as your value system. Think about the strategies that were said, but also think about the philosophy of what we're trying to talk about with children with special needs. Think about what are you doing for yourself? How are you feeding yourself for life? Are you just living day by day just to, just to survive, make ends meet? Think about how what you can do now to reaffirm why you are here. Why are you sitting here at this point right now at this seminar?